Welcome friends. In this video, I am going to tell about the page layout in Microsoft Word. What, it, what are the things you can do in page layout? Like the first page I will show you. This is the first page. In this, you how you can insert border in your page in your four ways. There are four ways through which you can insert border on your page like this. Uh, brick border border I have already applied in my page. Okay, this there are four ways, different ways how you can apply the border. And next page is this. In this, I will show you how to give color to your page in three ways. There are three there are three different ways how you can give page to your how you can give color to your page in a MS Word. That I will show you. And in third page, how to apply watermark in your page. Watermark like that. You want your name on the page. That will be lightly visible for everyone. It is not going to give any problem or anything. But it will be back side of the page. It will be visible little bit. So all these three things I will tell you one by one. So just see the video from starting to ending so i will start so this is the new page first you have to go to the page layout and set up the page layout so just hold your cursor and drag this to the end till end yes see here and this also same thing till the end here also same till the end this is clear now we are going to start the work First, I will show you page border. How you can apply page border. Just click on page border. And non-border means now there is no water on your screen. Now, next one is box border. This is a box border. You can set the width according to your own. See, this one, 6 pti I want. If you want to increase, it's depending on you. Now, it is asking apply to whole page or single page. So, I want only first page, not whole page. So just see, yeah, see border came in our page. Now I want this border to be in the corners, not in the middle. Some space, white space is there. So just again click on border and then click on options. After clicking on options, just you change this 24 to 1 pt for all. See, yeah, and just click on OK. And here also click on OK. See, it's going to the corners. This is the first way to change the border of your page. Another way how you can change is shadow. See, like this it will show you on your page. Just check. See here. It is showing like this. Like a shadow of your page. This is second way. Third way, 3D. 3D it will be not uh, going to look more difference but same only. See. This is third. Now, fourth is the most important that I like is how to up back, uh, page border. So, I like this heart diagrams. So, these diagrams only I am going to apply for your pages. If you like big, you can apply big. If you like small, this I like a little bit more big. So, I take 24 pt and click on OK. So, first page only. So, see, automatic this border came to your page and if you are selecting border for one page automatically it will apply for the whole document if you have more pages okay like same way see here different borders are there see any border you can apply whatever you like see so just once apply this see yeah it's looking nice now once again i will show one more this see butterfly looking nice yeah so the first is completed page border second i will show you how to apply the page color just click on page color and first is no color now there is no color in our page and now second is more color click on more select any color which you like you just see just see this is the color and click on ok the color is applied on your page another way Fill effects. 
Fill effect means it's to have multi colors like two colors I want. So here first color already selected, second color I want red. So see the combination. So see you can see by your own. See all two combination of color is there on your screen. Yes. So these are the two ways through which you can apply the color. Another one is simple color. These are the theme colors whichever you want to change you can apply on it. Yes. So I like more colors. Standard color go and click on this. Okay. And again fill colors. I will show you how two colors I want. So this is the combination and shade scheme here. So the page color is completed. Now third is the watermark that I told how you can apply watermark in your page. Just click on watermark. Click on watermark and just click on this and see the watermark is there on your page. Yes. Yeah. Now I want watermark to be applied as your name. So just click on this custom watermark and click on this. Backspace and write. I will write my channel name. See this. Complete. Knowledge. See as complete knowledge. If you want any color, you can use the color. Like I want this or it will take dark color. Yes. So and uh, these two layouts are there. Diagonal or horizontal. Any you can take it. And click on OK. Now, we close and check it out. See, the name came CS Complete Knowledge. And here is also the font style. You can select the font according to your choice. Many fonts are there. Whatever you want, you can do it. I will show you another like uh, this medium one. Okay, see, let's change. Yes. It's change. Now, if you don't want this watermark, how what you can do? Just again click on watermark and click on remove watermark. So the watermark is gone now from your PC. Yes. So step by step, you can use page layout in your screen in MS Word, and you can make your MS document looks very beautiful. Thanks for watching.